Sasa's founders first came here in 1949, they did not know much about the history of the Green Hill, the hill which will become their home. We were 125 boys and girls, aged 22, 23, 24, the oldest were 24. When you went up on the top of the hill and looked around, everything was dark. So we were pretty isolated. That's the way we started. They came here to build the first Jewish settlement in the area after the 1948 War of Independence. I'm from Detroit originally. I was born in Detroit. And we were smuggling weapons from New York and New Jersey to Israel. When they started excavating the ground, they realized that someone had been here before. It turned out that Sasa is a tell. And the tell has about 12 layers. So I, I always say there are 12 layers underground and we're the 13th layer. At the highest point in Sasa scattered are the remains of an 1800 years old Jewish synagogue. Here we are uncovering the uh, threshold, the entrance to the synagogue. You can see the holes that belong to the um, door lock. For someone who is coming the first time to this area of the world, the Galilee, what would you describe to him? For the world, is the birthplace of Christianity. Jesus lived here, traveled here, made his miracles here. For Jews, it is the place where the Mishnah and the Talmud were written. The whole region of the Upper Galilee is a place where history was written. 15 miles northeast of Sasa stands the impressive remains of the ancient Canaanite temple of Kadesh. To the west is the fortress of Yechiam. Four miles from there you will find Kasser el Chashek, a Byzantine church dating back to the 6th century. Back to Sasa, this time to the valley below the kibbutz. Can I have an apple? You can have one, even two. When the founders of the kibbutz planted apple trees here, some look up to see the fruits, others, like Howard, look down to the ground looking for ancient relics. For us, nomads were coming through the valley, and what we do find of these people are hand axes. These were just like the, the leather man of the Paleolithic period, which is hundreds of thousands of years ago. Those stones, as well as many other artifacts found nearby, were transferred to the Sasa Museum. These packed shelves tell the story of thousands of years. Sasa today is a vibrant modern kibbutz, a fully communal society. One cannot find many places in the world where someone who walk to the grocery stores passes by burial caves, a second century tomb of a rabbi, and the remains of the Arab village that was here before. This is Sasa, where the present meets the past and mixed together. So basically now you're just another layer. We're another layer, that's all we are. <laughs>